Maybe military action against yeah. Russia's number one ally in the world, maybe, and it's certainly in the Middle East, which is Syria. Uh, is this to cover his tracks? Well, that'd be the wag the dog scenario, right? And, and perhaps. No, I mean, it covers strikes being. You think I'm, you know, be, I'm in I'm, bed with the, the Russians? Russians? Yes, right. Yeah, and it would distract from the investigation and would show I'm not in bed with the Russians. I can launch strikes that are inconvenient and may even end up killing some Russians. Wow. Uh, well, that's one point of view. That's actually uh, David Korn from Mother Jones, which is a very left wing publication. Joining me right now for their thoughts on all of it, conservative commentator Gina Loudon and former DNC Deputy Press Secretary Jose Aristimuno. Good to have you both here. Gina, I'll start with you. All right. So you heard the narrative, the thinking by the left, uh, some members, I should say, not all, but some members of the left, certainly of the media type, uh, believe that he's just doing this to be a distraction and basically say, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not that uh, close to the Russians after all. Your thoughts? That is so reprehensibly partisan, Trish. I'm not sure I've seen anything that offensive come out of the left-wing media to date. Because this is a time where we need to be united against these crimes against children. Did he not see the photos of these babies and these people? Uh, 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 did he not watch the coverage? He really is going to turn this into a partisan rhetorical uh, uh, excuse for the fact that they've covered nothing except this Russia conspiracy theory since July, I would be mortified. Well, it really suggests to me, to do with that. Jose, that some members of the leftist media are doubling down on the conspiracy theory. What say you? Look, I, you know, one thing that is important, and, and, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm glad that President Trump took this action. You know, maybe he took a cue from Hillary Clinton, who said the same thing a few hours before. Look, what, what's happening in Syria is devastating. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that he acted. But if we are to continue doing uh, using military force, then Congress needs to be consulted. So you don't agree with David Korn's theory then uh, from Mother Jones that perhaps this was all done to be a distraction and basically prove to people that, uh, you know, he, he's not as close to Russia as some have said. I mean, that that's a pretty insulting thing for someone to even insinuate, Jose. We should have an independent investigation on the connections with the election in 2016 with the Russians. We ought to continue that investigation. But look, the important thing here is that President Trump acted presidential, uh, and I'm, I'm happy that he did so. But look, uh, we can, ought to can remember. We get that, can we cut that sound right now of, of Jose saying that, <laughs> that, that President Trump acted presidential? We're going to keep that. I, I'm going I'm I'm to play that one for you <laughs> That's for, all right. from That's time all right. to time. But, but to your point, yes, he acted presidential, and you as a Democrat sure. can say that? I can say that, but I will also say that there are pages and pages of tweets out there when President Trump or candidate Trump at that time said that we shouldn't do anything in Syria. So what, what is very concerning to me, Trish, is that this is, this is a person that one day says one thing and another mm -hmm. day says the and next. Why so, do you think he changed his mind? I'm going to ask Gina that question. I mean, do you think it, it was what we saw, those atrocities? Well, don't forget, Trish, that we were told by the Obama administration that uh, Assad didn't have chemical weapons. Remember, that was one of Obama's big bragging rights, right, from his presidency. Apparently, that wasn't true. And so uh, when knowing with new information, President Trump had to act swiftly and decisively and to communicate to the rest of the world, as he said he would, that, um, that chemical weapons will not be tolerated, that this kind of atrocity exacted on human beings is not going to be tolerated. Mm -hmm. And I think it did. It sent a strong, successful mes message. But to insinuate that this had anything to do with their uh, uh, narrative of this yeah. consp conspiracy theory, I just, I think it's just as, as wrong as anything I've ever seen. This is the time for us yeah. to be Americans, not to be Democrats or Republicans. Here, here. Gina, Jose, thank you so much to both of you. Appreciate it.